In today's video, I'm going to finish the garden gazebo up and get it all ready for summer. So last time I left off with the roof on the ground, as it turned out to be a little heavier than I had anticipated to lift up. But uh, then my husband and a bunch of friends helped out and yeah, they had no problem getting it up there. Thank you! <laughs> okay, so the roof is now on top of the posts. So that is really cool and now it's time to fasten it to here and I'm gonna add some metal fasteners and nails and screws to make sure it's really well on there. And I'm just happy it's up there now, so that's really cool. The metal straps will really add a lot of strength so the wind won't lift it up. Looks good to me. I also added some screws at an angle to connect the post to the roof. Next up, seats. I wanted to have seats all around the gazebo so we could have a lot of seating for entertaining and just relaxing. I decided to build them really simply, just using 2x4s and screws. And these are brackets to secure the seats to the posts. Then I measured out the heights on the posts. I went with 19 inches and then I secured these brackets to each side. Then I just repeated it on the other side. The next thing I worked on was this front edge. I figured this board was going to get stepped on the most, so I wanted to plane down the edge and also put in some more support pieces in the gaps. I also put on a piece of cedar to cap it and plane that as well. I decided to make a third bench for the other side here, so I used the same concept but with a little notch on both sides so it would fit properly. Then when I knew everything fit well, I took all the benches off and sanded them really well so they would be nice and smooth and then I secured them back in place. The other thing I wanted to do was put up some brackets on the sides so I could attach some ladders. We put it up on two sides and I just screwed it into the brackets. Okay, so the lattice work is up now on this side and this side. I was debating whether to put it on that side as well, but maybe it'd be nice to kind of keep it a little bit more open. This is really nice because it provides like some privacy and it just makes it a little cozier. So yeah, I think that looks good. Then finally, a table. So I'm kind of creating my own pocket screws here. I didn't have a pocket jig with me, but I figured I can kind of create them using the same technique. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, so let me go over the concept of the table. So I have this frame here now, just made with 2 by 4s um, basic, screwed together. So what I'm thinking for a base now, uh, is like a pedestal type table so that there's not too many legs in the way. So what I'm thinking is I have two more 2 by 4s that have like cut at an angle here, and these are gonna go in the middle and be secured. And then I have uh, two 2x4s two here that are nailed together, and this is the leg. So this will be secured in the middle, like this, and it will be nailed on each side, to the frame and to the sides. So this is the general idea, like it's gonna sit like this and they're gonna have these 
like a mirrored image of this uh, on the floor to make it nice and stable. And then what I'm gonna do next here is to put cedar boards across. Stay table. <laughs> So I just screwed the cedar boards on top and then stained them nice and smooth. Then I secured the base to the joist in the floor with some long screws. And to give the table and benches some protection, I also added some polyurethane. At this point, we added some more gravel all around the structure to drain away any water during the winter and keep it nice and neat. And I also put up some flower baskets. I'll, I'll be done in a second. Okay. Go around. This way. I mean. So anyway, quite a little sanctuary. Very nice. <laughs> I know for a fact that it's been used already for coffee in the morning and meals and just as a spot to relax and read and whatever. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty dry. Yeah, it is dry, yeah. I can do some painting out here now. <laughs> and planting, you can do potting. Like That's do right, like I sure can. I love that it's like a little hideaway spot in the garden. And again, all the materials for this gazebo project cost around $500. And I only used a jigsaw, a drill, and a hammer in terms of tools. If you missed it, don't forget to check out the first video where I build the structure and the roof. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments.